welcome back to another reputized video. Pokemon Detective Pikachu was directed by Rob Letterman and stars Ryan Reynolds, Justice Smith, and Catherine Newton. In a world where humans and Pokemon coexist, a boy named Tim Goodman bumps into Pikachu, a Pokemon detective, after Tim's father goes missing. They partner up and try to solve a shocking plot that can destroy the coexisting of Pokemon and humans. First of all, getting into this review, I've never seen any of the other adaptions. That being said, this review is mainly going to focus on the filmmaking experience I had watching this film. How it made me feel, how it looked, the character development, and etc. This is the first Pokemon film to be released since Pokemon 3 the movie back in 2000. Starting off with the positives, Ryan Reynolds gave a really terrific performance as Pikachu. He gave it that cute quality, plus the look of Pikachu. It just made me melt. He was so adorable that I just wanted to... According to IMDB, a petition was made calling for Danny DeVito for the part of Pikachu. A lot of people wanted him to play the part of Pikachu. Well, sorry folks, that didn't work out. Not Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds. You can't go wrong with him. It just seems like ever since he played Deadpool, he's gone a long way from his Green Lantern and RIPD days. Deadpool pretty much zapped him into exactly where he needs to be in Hollywood. Justice Smith plays Tim Goodman, the other main character of this who partners up with Pikachu. He's the guy that loses his father. He's 21 years old, and he tries to go on a spree on trying to figure out what the hell happened. So I thought the chemistry between Pikachu and this guy was pretty good. At first, they were a little hesitant. It was like, how can I understand you? And then Pikachu was like, how can you understand me? So their chemistry was pretty good. Chessa Smith gave a solid performance to that character. He could cry on cue. There were several touching moments that involved his character. I thought he did a pretty good job. Catherine Newton plays Lucy Stevens, a reporter of such. Her and Justice's chemistry was pretty good as well. I didn't find any flaws with her character. I thought she served a well enough purpose. All the characters' chemistry was pretty good. There's great character built up. Rob Letterman, who directed this film, also directed the first Goosebumps. And I thought the direction of this film was done pretty well. It was a great story. I had no problem with its material. There were so many surprises in this. I was surprised. <laughs> John Matheson's cinematography and lighting work was just top notch. It was crystal clear. He did a really good job on this. Henry Jackman's score was pretty good. He's scored so many other movies that I actually have. None that I can mention right off the top of my head, but I thought he scored this film pretty good and gave you that zest for it. The action was crazy. This film was rated PG. And watching it, I was thinking to myself, how can this not be rated PG-13? Not for any cussing. It didn't have any cussing. This film was meant for kids. This is a straight up family comedy action drama film. It is for kids and families. But the action in it was so tense. For that purpose only, I'm surprised the MPAA did not give it a PG-13. I felt like I was watching a PG movie that was inside a PG-13's body. If that makes any sense. I'm not complaining about that. Not one iota. And you can bet your butt on that. The villain in this film was pretty great. I can't mention who it is, but the actor who played him, I feel like if I reveal who he is, it'll be a spoiler. Because they had so much twists and turns in this film, it was just uncanny. And I was like this the whole time. The villain was really great, and like I said, I liked the actor that played the villain. He's been in so many other stuff that I have seen, and I think he's a really good actor. One of my favorite scenes, aside from all the action of this film, involved the mime. Oh, he's on a bike. Quick, get in front of him. Stop. Oh, no. He's going down hard, Tim. Should have worn a helmet. That was really hilarious. I found myself busting gut just about watching that scene. This film was a great flick. Going into this film, I had no idea. Like I mentioned before, I have not seen any of the Pokemon cartoons or movies. I was going in this naked. I was a Pokemon virgin. 
Pokemon Detective Pikachu gets an A+. That's right, my first Pokemon experience is top notch with me. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share, tell your friends. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon. If you like this, you can click right here and get reputized.